AM 630. Hey, can you tell us what music they're going to use? Great, we're off to a good start. Thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to see you driving up here even before the doors open. So many people here. Uh, and, uh, and make the time to come out and see our guys, and, and uh, we're looking forward to spending some time. So without further ado, let us begin to get the guys out here on stage. Uh, uh, a decade at Fox 5, another decade at Fox News Channel as a Capitol Hill reporter and Washington bureau chief. Please welcome Brian Wilson. The stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. The prairie sky is wide and high, deep in the heart of Texas. Hello, everybody. The coyotes wail along the trail. There we go. Deep in the heart of Texas. It is so good. I can actually, with these lights, I can't see you at all, but I know you're out there. It is so good to be here tonight and to uh, to come and celebrate something that perhaps we need to celebrate, given the events of the last 24 hours. I mean. Uh, at a time when the First Amendment is under attack, how wonderful it is to be here and to celebrate the, the best gift that our founding fathers ever gave us, the, uh, the right to assemble peacefully and also to express our opinions. So thank you so much for that. Now, I don't know if you heard or not, but uh, somebody tried to charge the, uh, the, 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 the Donald today in, uh, in one of his appearances. And uh, so I just want you to know that if that happens here, uh, I... Uh, I intend to uh, do my very best to introduce that person very personally and very intimately to a, uh, the business end of a, uh, a gator skin boot. Let's say that. <laughs> One of the great joys I've had in broadcasting is to spend some time with a guy every morning. He's like, he's just indefatigable. He really is. Uh, I consider him my friend. I consider him my broadcast partner. He's the uh, Energizer Bunny of Talk Radio. Please welcome Larry O'Connor. Thank you. Wow. This is one of the nicest cruise ships I've ever been on. Thank you all for coming out here. This is fantastic. You know, we're going to take questions as, uh, as the evil overlord, Mr. Hess, has already uh, told you. Uh, let me just get rid of a couple of them really fast that we always get. Yes, I take a nap. Uh, yes, Genyasa works really well. My carpets are fabulous. Thank you very much. And if I were selling a house, you know it would be the Reynolds team. So thanks for, uh, let's say we get, we're done with XO, we're eliminate those questions, Heather and Michael. I really do appreciate you all coming out here. And as uh, Brian said, I think that uh, a free speech forum is pretty appropriate. We, we scheduled it for today without knowing that last night totalitarians would actually uh, squelch free speech. And then suddenly the person trying to give the free speech is the actual, uh, uh, the one who's blamed for what happened over there. Listen, I don't care who you're supporting in the presidential election, but when... When people are chanting, free speech, not hate speech, I mean, is that not the most totalitarian thing that you've ever heard in your life? Much more totalitarian than anything that happens at a Trump rally. And to that end, here's what I'd like to do. We're, we're, all, we're all behind free speech here, aren't we? So I'd like you all to take a pledge with me, if you could. All right. Speaking of fascists, uh, one of, the, one of the great honors of my life every day is to spend 50 seconds a day with Chris Plant on the air. There's nothing better than, than people figuring out who I am, you know, after I get in their face and say, don't you know I'm Larry O'Connor? And, uh, and they say, oh my God, you're the guy who introduces Chris Plant every day. Uh, and so to that end, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one Chris Plant. Chris Plant.
why thank you. <laughs> that music's a little frightening, isn't it? But, you know, this year, who knows? <laughs> Could happen, yeah. In a contested convention, anything can happen. <clears throat> well, I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. It is, uh, it is a great uh, night to talk about free speech, as Larry was referencing last night, the little, uh, the little episode in Chicago with uh, the Bernie Sanders people coming out to show what they're made of. And, and you know, it's Chicago. It's, you know, I was, I was eight years old, Chicago, 1968. My mother was pregnant with my little brother, David, running away from the tear gas and the riots and all that good stuff. And my father was abandoning her, running off with a microphone to interview people and, you know, um, in 1968. And this is kind of, I think, going to be a little bit of 1968 all over again, but different. You know, this is going to be a very, very nutty year, and I, I think the handwriting is on the wall. There will be blood. I like to make movie references, you know. <laughs> there will be blood. There was some blood yesterday, and, uh, and it is going to uh, continue. It's going to, it's going to amp up. It's going to get worse. It's going to get nuttier and nuttier. Uh, and, you know, I guess we'll just have to uh, turn it into a good time, you know. <laughs> do, do what we can to turn it into a good time. Uh, and I know we won't all want to get going here, and uh, we, we have uh, the Muhammad Ali, I think, of uh, talk radio. In the wings over here, the great one, as he is known to his audience and the rest of the world, Mr. Mark Levin. Please keep standing. <laughs> Just so you know, we can't see you. I can't see a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Is the crowd as diverse as we are here? <laughs> yeah, just about. <laughs> just about. Anybody transgendering out there? Well, Nothing I'm wrong kind with of Hispanic, and, and then there's Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I think after this. So it begins. Yeah. I think after this First Amendment discussion. The end of the summer while we'll the Second Amendment this yeah. yeah. But I think we can all agree what took place in Chicago was pretty damn disgusting. Yeah. And the left is on the war path. But I don't know, if I were a campaign manager, I don't think I'd hold an event in the middle of Chicago in a university. Just saying. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Of course, we should be able to have an event wherever we want. But Bernie Sanders, MoveOn.org, these leftists are as dangerous and bloodthirsty as they come. And they always have been. Not the Tea Party, not conservatives, but them. Right. I honestly don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Well, <laughs> Thanks for everybody, coming. McDonald's, on Larry. <laughs> All right, we're going to give it back to yeah, Brian. Listen, uh, have a chair. Everybody settle in. We're in for uh, about 90 minutes of the great conversation. I can't see. We'll start over here. Is that you? Yeah, we're going to need lights on uh, uh, Heather bit, and... Yeah. Where, where are they? So we can just identify where they are. I can't see them. And Michael. Heather. Hello. Heather Hi, guys. Heather is out there. Where Great. are you, I'm Heather? on the right side of the stage That is over here. literally yeah. the voice of God for us. <laughs> Everybody. Can I just say, I mean, Bill, Bill did a great job introducing Heather, but honestly, for yeah. those of you who, who don't know and you should know, Heather Hunter is the executive producer of Mornings on the Mall and has been so for uh, five years now. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Heather, As, you have the first question. 